tail, okay? Mm -hmm. This is your femur's tail, so it's a caudofemoralis, okay? Now we get into the gluteal muscles. Gluteus maximus is smaller than gluteus medius. Gluteus medius is the meaty one, okay? So it's the bigger of the two. This one's much thinner than this one. Gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, okay? When we get on the inside, here you have, he puts up, good grief, please order super quickly. I just use, good grief, please order quickly. So I need somebody to write that down. There's one on the table. Can you go over the butt muscle again? Oh, this part? Yeah, I think I need to get on Jessica's. Let me go around to Jessica. I don't know, just sit down right now. Biceps Sorry. femoris here. Okay. Right above the biceps femoris, you have the one that looks like a tail. It's your femur's tail. Cotto means tail, so it's a cotto femoralis. And then you have gluteals. Gluteus maximus is smaller than gluteus medius. Okay? Just kind of like on the on the pectoralis major and minor. Maximus is smaller than medius. So write down good grief. Please order quickly. Draw a line before please between please and order. A line between? A line, line between. Space, all the way through. All the way be all the way between them. No, no, no. Oh, right in the middle. Between in the middle. Oh. You don't want to know what's going on. That's your sciatic nerve. Oh, okay. Okay. Now you notice you have three muscles nerve. above the sciatic nerve and you have two muscles below it. You see that? Yeah. Okay. Now when you start on this, your first muscle is always at the top of the thigh. Okay, when you find the top of the thigh, this is another part where it's important to figure out where the head of your cat is. Because if the head of your cat is up here, the top of your thigh is at the top, right? It's real easy when you get in here to confuse this for the top of your thigh. So rather than just walking up to a cat and automatically focusing here, because this is what he has pinned, pay attention to where your cat is. Where's the head and where's the butt? Because plenty of times this will confuse you, okay? So to find where you need to start, you need to find the top of the thigh. This is actually your vastus lateralis here, okay? You're gonna take, start at the top of your vastus lateralis and follow it down. We reach this little muscle here. This is your good, gluteus minimus, okay? Then you have gemellius superioris here, piriformis. Good grief, please. Now let me show you something with these muscles. The first three muscles are layered like this, okay? Gemella superioris comes over top of the other two. That's why it's a superior, because it's on top. You have a gluteus minimus on one side, Gemella superior, I'm sorry, a piriformis on the other side. Gemella superioris is on top. The size of this Gemella superioris is different on every cat, because when we pulled up your gluteus medius, it took some of that off. Sometimes it takes it off to where it's just a little tiny strip. Sometimes your gemella superioris will completely cover your piriformis, okay? So that's going to make it look a lot different on every cat. Okay. Your cat looks a little more difficult than probably most of them will, okay? So when we do that again, we come here at the vastus lateralis and we come down, right? And we find this muscle here. This is our gluteus minimus. See how I can get my probe under here? Yeah. This is all gemella superioris. See how it's on top of that muscle? It actually attaches to the hip bone here, which you can normally see, but the way your cat is situated, you can't see it, okay? So when we come on this side, this muscle under and to the side right here is your piriformis, okay? Can you see my mm -hmm. See the sciatic nerve? Yeah. Yes. Now we have two under it, right? This is our good grief, please. Order. Obturator and turnus here. See how it's under your sciatic nerve? Obturator and turnus. Quickly is your cue that's here. Quadratus femoris. Okay? Now let me grab my cat and you'll see the difference. Let me get on the other side. Obturator and turnus, is that what you said, Ellen? Yeah. Okay, we start here. This is my biceps femoris. Right above that you have the tail. This is the femur's tail, right? Cotto means tail, cotto femoralis. 
my gluteus maximus is in two pieces. This is kind of the thing that you're going to have to be able to identify when you're in the test because he may not have this pin, but you may have to be able to locate it to see where everything else is. Mine is in two pieces. See how it's in half? This is a gluteus minimus. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, it's your gluteus maximus. Remember, maximus is smaller than the medius. The medius is the meaty one, okay? This here is your tensor fascia latte. Remember, you have your sartorius tensor fascia latte. That's why it's important to know all of these, because when you get back here, you see them also. Gluteus medius. Now, when we open them, we're on the opposite side of the cat. So the top of my thigh is not here anymore. The head is here, so the top of my thigh is here. This is my vastus lateralis. So I'm going to follow it down and I'm going to hit this muscle here. It looks much different than yours. This is my good. This is my gluteus minimus. This is the one that's above it. Do you see this muscle sitting above it? There's my hip bone. All this is attached to the hip bone. This is gemella superioris because it's on top of it. When I move that to the side, I have piriformis there, my sciatic nerve. Obturator internus for the order, quadratus femoris for the, um, quickly. Okay? There's a separation here. Do you see that separation there? Mm -hmm. Okay, obturator internus. Quadratus femoris. Now here's the problem with these two muscles. Do you see this separation here and this separation here? Mm -hmm. It's very easy to confuse those two. You see how this is a small muscle here and this is a small muscle here? Mm -hmm. This isn't a small muscle. It looks small because the sciatic nerve is coming over top of it. When I move that, it's actually quite big. Okay, so it's the illusion that's going to make you get a little confused. So I'm going to, you already know what these muscles are, but I'm just going to show you them from a different angle. He is not going to pin them on this side. But if you realize what these are, you're going to be able to find these better. When I move my when I move my cat over this way, I have a semi, semi, and ad, right? Two semis, two ads. If I hold on to these muscles and I flip it over, what am I still holding? The semis and the ads. Same muscles, right? Except I have three here. So I have semi, semi, ad. This is my semi tendinosus, my semi membranosus, my adductor. Femoris. femoris. The only thing left is my now my quadratus femoris and my obturator internus. Does that make sense? Yes. So if you know what these three are, semi, semi, add, these are your other two muscles. Good grief, please order quickly. Okay? You guys get to do that now. And you guys are going to do both cats because they both look very different. Okay. Yours is, good. Yours is actually not very good. I thought mine was bad, yours is bad. Okay. And I think part of it's the position of the cat.